What's going on, people? Welcome to another episode of Man Meals, a cooking show made by men for men. I'm your host, EK. Now, today's our fifth episode, and we want to do something real crazy, real special, real off the wall, something only a five-year-old could think of. So we came up with Pigs on a Mattress, a Man meal spin on a soul food classic. So come on, people. Let's get it. All right, so right now, y'all are probably wondering, what's a pig on a mattress? Well, you got the mattress. It's a waffle. Inside the waffle, we got some bacon. Everything is better with bacon. And on top of that, we got some nice little pork chops. So come on, people. Let's get it. All right, first thing we're going to do with our pigs on the mattress is our pork chop, the pig. We're going to hit it with some XY seasoning. Make sure you season both sides. All right. After that, we take our pork chop, dip it in some heavy cream, and then into our flour. Make sure it's fully coated, both sides, all sides. We got about five more to do. Play me some music. All right, so for our mattress portion of Pigs on a Mattress, we're going to make our waffles. Now, in the chicken parm episode, the date night episode, I got into a little trouble for not making my sauce from scratch. So today, I'm gonna make my waffles from scratch. So let's go. We're gonna start with one and three fourths cup of flour mixed with a table, a teaspoon actually, sorry. A teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, and a little bit of sugar. We're gonna throw that into the bowl. All right, we got one and three fourths cup of milk, half a cup of canola oil, and two eggs. We're going to separate the yolk from the eggs white. So we're going to mix together our dry portion. That's good to go. Then we're going to mix together our wet portion. When you've got your wet portion mixed together, minus the egg whites, and just pour that into our bowl. Mix it till it's nice and soft. Panic. All right, so we've got our pork chops battered, our oil's hot, now we're ready to fry. So come on, let's get it. Alright, so now for my favorite part of pigs on the mattress, the bacon part. Remember, everything's better with bacon. I'm just going to take about six slices of bacon, chop them up a little bit, and fry them about halfway. If you fry them too much, they'll also cook in the waffle iron and they'll burn. So you don't want to do that. So about halfway in the frying pan. So come on, let's get it. got our bacon fried and drained. We're just gonna dump it into the waffle batter. So come on, let's get it. So now we got our bacon folded into our batter. Again, you can use any type of instant pancake um, waffle batter if you want to. I chose to do it from scratch. We're gonna pour it into our waffle iron. Now with the waffle iron, if you don't have one, you can always make pancakes. You can substitute it. I wouldn't, but you could. So we're just gonna pour our batter right into the uh, waffle iron. Don't overfill the waffle iron. All right, so we let our waffle sit for about three to six minutes. It's cooked now, we're just gonna take it out. And since this is man meals, this is one waffle. Let's get it. 
Alright, as an added bonus, we're going to make an apple dessert. Now, we don't have a name for it yet, but what I want you guys to do is hit me up on Twitter at ManMills2010 and give us a name. So, let me know. We're going to start with two tablespoons of butter. Get that nice and melted. Add in the apples. About half a cup of sugar. Throw in about a teaspoon of cinnamon. And let it rock. Let's get it. Panic. 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 We let our apples sit and simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes until they were really soft. Now we're just ready to plate them. So we're going to plate them in our nice graham cracker crust. Panic, panic, panic. Alright, so now we got our pigs on a mattress situated. We got the mattress, the waffle with the bacon inside of it, the pig, is which is our pork chop. Also we got our unnamed apple dessert. Now people tell me this ain't a man's meal. See you next time. All right, so earlier in the show, we talked about naming our apple dessert. We were serious. So hit us up on Twitter at ManMeals2010, right? And the winner of the contest is going to win an autographed Man Meals apron. So game use. We use this in episode two. So get at me at Twitter and you can win yourself a game use apron. Let's get it.